Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Kids. So today we're going to be looking at a little bit of moving shapes. This is kind of a continuation of what we had looked at last time on uh, moving a ball across um, the screen using the arrow keys. So first we're going to maybe want to move a shape across the screen. So let's go on and make uh, some variables here and we'll do something with maybe um, a circle again, so var radius here is equal to, let's say 50, uh, var x is going to equal to negative uh, radius, uh, and I don't actually like having to type out all of radius, so we're just gonna keep it at r for now, because again, r stands for radius. Uh, and then we'll do var s is for speed here, and this will say 0 0.5. So it'll be maybe at a slow speed or a small little crawl. Um, and then let's go on and um, change this up because, it, again, we were talking about radius. So let's go on and use ellipse mode radius, okay? And this is then so we can use radius instead of uh, the diameter when we're doing up our uh, circle calculations. So let's do something like um, x plus equal to speed. And this is basically going to increase the value of, um, of x. So it's basically going to be like speeding up across. And then let's go on and actually make, um, before we'd always been kind of talking about Pac-Man or something. So instead of actually doing an ellipse, let's actually just make um, a little Pac-Man type shape. So x by 60 r r. Uh, 0 0.50, uh, 5.8, let's say. So let's take a look at this. Um, what didn't it like here? Let me see here. Uh, speed, oh, whoops. I said speed, I meant S in here. So notice now our little Pac Man kind of goes across the screen at a point. 5 speed. Uh, so if we wanted to, um, let me maybe put him in, uh, whoops, at the center here. So he's moving across the screen. Let's maybe make him move at like 2.5 speed. Whee! And so he can really move across the screen. So um, that's one thing that we can do. Now, one issue here is that now he's technically gone off the screen and he has just continued on. He has not stopped. Okay, that's a problem. So we want him to maybe wrap back around and come back onto the screen. So it's just kind of like a this rolling uh, thing. So he kind of constantly moves around. Um, and let's, um, while we're at it, let's also maybe make this a black background. So now that it actually kind of looks kind of nice there, right? Um, and what let's also say something like um, fill color yellow so now it actually kind of looks like a pac-man going across the screen um so that's great but now we also want him to maybe loop back around okay so <clears throat> what can we can do with that is we can change up and add an if statement here so we can say something like um if x is greater than the width uh, of our canvas, uh, and we also need actually uh, the width uh, plus radius, okay, uh, we'll do x is equal to uh, minus r, okay? So now we'll get this wrap effect. So when he goes back around, he'll pop, he pops back up. Okay, so that's a, a nice, easy way to do it. Now, something else that may be useful, okay, is because later on, again, like if we're making some sort of like Pac-Man game or anything else, we would want it so that maybe he could, he would actually bounce off the screen. Or maybe if we're making like a block breaker or some type of game like that, we want them to bounce off of the screen instead. So we can go on and also do that as well. So, um... Instead of um, instead of this, let's go on and get rid of that. And uh, we'll do something like if x is greater than uh, the width uh, minus the radius 
um, or x is less than the radius, uh, we'll have it do something like, um, you know, we need, we need to actually set up um, a direction here. Okay, so let's say var dir here uh, for direction. Um, and let's say that we want what? Um, let's set, you know what? Set direction to equal one, okay? So uh, that would be like for the forward direction, right, I guess. Um, then we can do something like um, dir is equal to negative dir. Okay, so like it's plus one and then minus one. Um, and then from there, uh, let me cut you out and do something like if, if dir is equal to one, We'll say something like um, our normal arc there. And then we'll say something like else, um, excuse me, uh, else uh, we'll say arc, um, and let's do what, uh, 3.7. Uh, and like nine. Uh, that's mm. maybe I need to wrap this here. Parentheses, wrap you in parentheses. Um, and let's say. Oh, you know what? Let's set x equal to 100. Hmm, that looks a little weird. All right, and so something I'm, I'm messing up here is we also need to have here, we have our speed, and to change our direction, it would be multiplied by dir here. So now let's, let, let's give that a try. Should bounce and bounce and bounce. Okay, so later on, for those of you that are wanting to kind of start making games and stuff like that, this um, this uh, direction here and um, that type of stuff, okay, is going to be how you would kind of make walls. Okay, so for example, you'd say like once you get to this angle, instead of maybe bouncing off, you'd have to tell it to stop or something like that. Okay, so then you can kind of create a cage or a grid inside uh, for your game. So this is going to be all we're going to be doing today. Um, if you like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.